If you're anything like me, you like to let your creativity flow when you're writing music and kind of just let inspiration take you where it should go. But often in song writing, I find that can kind of result into like a long chain of parts that don't necessarily make up a song. And often the most important part of that second round of songwriting is assembling all these parts into a cohesive song. But I find, especially in a Reaper, moving things around and copy and pasting a whole bunch of different parts, especially with automation, can result in a lot of errors and miss things moving around. And I have a solution. So check this out. So we have this track and it starts off with this a lot of dark, electronic, really punchy, aggressive, slightly hip hop feel, but with some acoustic instruments in there and eventually build into something a lot more traditional that you'd have in a rock and metal. And I found as I was writing this, that I leaned a little bit too heavily into the atmospheric elements early on. I really need to touch onto some of those metal and uh, rock elements early on. At least just give a little taste of them early in the beginning of the song. But how do I do that? Obviously I can just copy and paste and find different parts that I like, but I have this outro. How would this sound right after that buildup? Well, here's a super easy way to check that. So watch this. I'm actually going to divide this up into regions. Okay, so this is typically actually used for live performance. This is really what you would kind of divide your different songs into actually a playlist. And this is actually how I run a lot of our backing tracks live is I'll divide each of our songs into different regions. Yep. So here, I'm gonna create this region here. You can name it if you want, doesn't need to. So, and then I have this other region here, which is that outro. Okay, and then I have literally the rest of the song. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a playlist. And so I can listen to this song as if I edited the whole thing differently. I'm not changing anything. I'm only just changing how this is played back temporarily. So we'll add region one, region two, and then region three. So that's gonna play this intro. Cool. And then right after this intro, it's gonna skip all the way to the end, play this ending section, and then skip back into the, the main area. And this allows me to really like just test what this sounds like without having to copy and paste anything. And if I don't like it, nothing was actually changed. This is just changing the playback for one second. So, let's see. I don't like it. So I find this is like a super useful tool for, for demoing and just songwriting. So I can just break the individual pieces up and you can rearrange, you can loop, you can have all these things without actually having any destructive editing at all. Hope this helps, later.